Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Booth here back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the best point guard build that you could possibly make in NBA 2K24. Now this build is going to have everything you need as far as badges, playmaking badges, shooting badges, defensive stats, all that good stuff. Uh, the build is right here. Just go ahead and show y'all real quick. It's called a three point shot hunter. Just show y'all the build, 6'3", 170, 6'3", wingspan, all you really need. I'm gonna go over the stats. You don't, I mean, 54 driving, that's not really why we're here. Driving layups, 75 is cool, you can make some layups. 45 standing dunk for the basic standings, you could go standing dunk all you want. Badge you do get though, Giant Slayer Gold, okay bruh. I always do that every video, I don't know, it's so confusing. Anyways though, Giant Slayer Gold, Slithery, uh, Bronze, Acrobat, Bunny, Float Game, Ho Touch Scooper, Whistle, Gold, whatever. Doesn't matter. 45 standing dunk for the basic standing dunks. And we have a 96 3. So I'm gonna scroll up, y'all see it. We get Gold Agent 3s, Gold Blinders, Gold Deadeye, Gold Limitless, Hop Catch and Shoot, Hop Green, Hop Guard Up, Hop Space Creator, Hop Spot Up Finder. Hoff Claymore, Hoff Comeback Kid, Hoff Corner Specialist, Hoff Open Looks, and Gold Whistle as well. I mean, necessarily for these badges, the Gold is probably the better one than the Silver in my opinion. As you know, you get the Limbless Range, Gold, and you can shoot from way back there. Honestly, I've seen people with Silver even shooting from back there, but Silver is just not consistent enough in my opinion. So that's why I went with Gold. And then Gold Deadeye, I mean, that's a really good badge that every guard I think needs. As far as contests in this game go, it's pretty heavy, in my opinion. Guards do get contested like that, but I don't think in this build you will really get contested. Gold Blinders is good enough as is. Even Hoff Blinders is like, it's alright, but it's not, doesn't make much of a difference. Agent 3s, really, you know, pull up shots like fades, all that angle fades, etc. Like, you'll be greening 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 with this badge right here like agent threes is really important this year as well and then hop catch and shoot i mean that's self-explanatory green machine that's really good because i don't know i like green, green machine every year is really good like if you're not in a shooting slump and you green like one or two shots like in a row like you're gonna be on fire because shooting slumps in this game is really bad and i feel like hop green machine can help you that a lot and getting on hop is really an essential right now uh, half guard up. I don't know about this badge because from what I've heard on Twitter and stuff like that, this badge doesn't really get like progressed. I don't know. I know Zach Tillerman, shout out to him. He's one of the devs that work at 2K. Really good guy for all the micro info. Go follow him. But he, he showed us like on Twitter that uh, you, you they're going to fix this eventually and you will get your guard up like progressed throughout the whole thing. Hot space creator, uh, self-explanatory, I mean, step backs and all that, spot finder, yeah, I mean, these are just a bunch of extra badges, open looks is also good as well, but the rest are just really extra and all that stuff, let's go to the playmaking though, 75 pass sack, explain this right now, 75 pass sack still feels like you're throwing with 86, not much of a difference, maybe you'll throw some bad passes, but I mean, this is what comes with the build, you have to sacrifice something in my opinion, so, let's go to the ball handle, 93 ball handle, gives you gold blow by, which will make you blow by your defender very easily, gold hands for days, gold killer combos, I mean these two are pretty uh, self explanatory, it's basically the same as last year, I would think, in my opinion, just from how the badges work, speed booster, this is really like the guard is central right here, like this is what I think you would need too, in my opinion, like the gold speed booster is really good like it's just it's basically the same as Hoff gold unpluckable good as well you don't need Hoff I mean it's just extra Hoff ankle breaker ankle breakers are really good Hoff juke strike I don't even know what this badge is I think that's just triple threat I mean that's not very important let's go down to speed with ball I mean you just get hyper drive on gold which is really good and with 90 speed with ball you're gonna get the best six 
dribble styles and you will unlock pretty much everything that you need i will be probably dropping a video on that later but in this video i'm going to be probably showing you guys jump shots as well i feel like six should just have a different video because i'll probably just do a dribble tutorial while i use the sigs you know what i mean like it's just better for that so that's why i'm not gonna do it this video but probably next video for sure and then let's go down to defense real quick perimeter defense i mean ankle braces yeah this is whatever you just i just have 66 just to contest something at least and an 81 steal for a uh, silver interceptor i feel like every guard needs interceptor in this game in my opinion like if you're 6'3", it's no point of you going high up in perimeter. You're not really going to do anything with little arms. And then, I mean, these are all zeros. A5 speed for the gold hyper drive and speed booster. Uh, A7 XL for the gold speed booster as well and blow by. 64 vert, you don't really need vert for standing dunks. And the stamina is just for hands for days. So, all in all, you see all the badges like the gold Asian 3s. Hoff, I mean, gold blinders, blow by, dead eye, limitless, killer combos, hyper drive, hands for days, bronze uh, glove, gold giant slayer, slithery bronze. Uh, you know, all these, all these badges right here, pretty much. S tier, B tier, like you see, these are all the badges that you are getting on the build. And I mean, they're all pretty valuable as a guard, in my opinion. I mean, you could tweak it a little bit and get your pass accuracy to. A 77 just to get the you know uh, needle threader on bronze at least I feel like that would be helpful but other than that I think this build is perfect you don't really need to do much um, everything about like you can just take this down to a 45 and I mean you could take this down as well in case it affects anything like you could just do this right there and then you should get your needle threader right there and now just put it to steel you get an a2 steel and then your build is pretty much good so it could be like that as well and i mean i wouldn't knock y'all because all you really need is a 45 standing dunk and now you get needle threader and that's that's a good build right there everything here is what you see gold limitless gold blinders gold dead eye and then you get gold speed booster hands for days color combos i mean this is probably one of the best guard builds in the game honestly and you know as you see i mean we saw it at the beginning of the video three points uh shot hunter i mean that's pretty accurate and that's what this build is meant to do and you have some standing dunk as well because i feel like standing dunks in this game are really op really really op that's my personal opinion though but uh let's see i got these three custom jump shots for y'all i'm gonna just show you them right now let's go first jump shot that we have we have darius garland upper release one oscar robinson upper release two john stockton lower base with the 60 to 40 percent blend of Darius Garland 60 percent Oscar 40 percent this is one of the fastest jumpers in the game in my opinion please ignore the release height because in my opinion as a short guard you're not gonna really just shoot over people anyways and it doesn't really matter for you you just really want the consistency and the speed this is what this has this has an a minus defensive immunity which the defender can barely contest you especially if it's like a bigger player that doesn't really have much perimeter the release speed probably the most important thing about the whole thing the release speed is what's key for the guard this is why i think this is the first jumper that i put in there because it's probably the best one that i have release speed wise the d plus release height does not matter much as i said um you're a small guard anyways it's build a 6-3 you're not gonna really be shooting over people like that i mean nobody's gonna make a five foot seven build you know what i mean so that's really all it is and this has a good timing stability i know a lot of people that really like it but it's like for me my personal opinion i just don't think um this is just like you know that's not really a stat that i think matters but yeah also shout out to my dog uh Zylon for getting all these screenshots for me because I don't have a guard build. He got all these screenshots for me I told him all the customs do so shout out my boy I'm gonna go put his Twitter link down below into the description y'all go fuck with him So yeah, let's go on to the next uh, jumper though So for my next jumper right here, we have Kevin Porter jr. Lower base upper release one is James Harden upper release two is Trey Young with a 55% James Harden, 45% Trey Young, 4 out of 4 speed. You know, this is a very, like, 
snappy jumper i would say i would say like this is a jumper that i think would be more consistent for you in terms of like if you're not ready to have a fast jumper this is one of those jumpers that you'll feel on your thumbs and be like oh yeah i can get the the gist of this really quickly that's what kpj is this year i don't think it's as good but i still think it's one of the better ones for the guards in my opinion that are under like six five because oh, like six foots to six fours don't really get the best jumpers in the game in my personal opinion and like i just think J like james harden and the trey young will get you right like it's not the highest release height but like that doesn't really matter Re release speed is a i mean that's cool defensive immunity a minus that's great you're not going to get contested like that time ability doesn't really matter c plus i mean that's still really good for a guard i've seen some with d pluses f's like it doesn't matter all that much in my opinion but that's just me i'm always keep saying that but yeah, this is probably one of the best jumpers in the game. If you like consistency and smoothness, this is probably one of the best ones in my humble opinion. Let's get on to the last one though. So for my last jump shot, we have Stephen Curry, lower base, upper release one, Oscar Robinson, upper release two, Colin Sexton, 60% Oscar Robinson and 40% Colin Sexton with a four out of four release speed. This is probably one of the better jumpers if you love consistency and it's fast too like this is probably the best one out of the three in my opinion but you know i give you three options because some people like the fastness some people like the consistency it's all a different you know niche to everybody everybody has their own niche and everybody likes what they like so that's why i put three just to give y'all options and then stuff like that but anyways onto the jumper this does have a b plus release height not bad not great you know but it gets the job done a plus release speed that's what you need to see and the defensive immunity a minus time and stability b plus i mean this is probably the best overall jumper by far in the video as you can see from gradings and stuff like that so yeah i mean curry's a really well up and down base straight up and down i really like his oscar Robson gives him that height and colin sexton speeds it up a lot more so that's why i really like this jumper but yeah again shout out to my guy xylan for hooking me up with these screenshots for me as i wasn't on the game and i also don't have a guard so i can't make any of these but yeah these are the jump shots that i think are the soup that are really good for you and you guys need to try them out immediately hey but that was probably the best guard build that i could possibly make comes with gold speed booster gold limitless gold dead eye gold blinders etc so yeah and i hope y'all like that build plus the jump shots those jump shots are really consistent and key for a guard in this game as a contestant it's kind of crazy but that's the end of the video i appreciate your boys tuning in and especially if y'all made that build i appreciate y'all shout out y'all man for real so yeah that's the youtube video like comment subscribe see y'all boys later peace